Hi folks, Ergelt here. Most of us have had the flu at one point or another in our lives. No big deal, right? You get a fever, you feel yucky for a while. You get over it. Once in a while you'll hear on the news that someone died of it. They're usually very old, feeble, with compromised immune systems. Too bad, you think, but it was their time anyway. And that's a very accurate picture of the flu, right? It's highly contagious, but not all that big a danger. There's just one problem with that evaluation. It's missing the big picture. Common influenza viruses are well adapted to humans, and human immune systems are pretty well able to cope with them. But there are animal reservoirs of influenza viruses which are not well adapted to humans and for which we have little resistance. They're wild strains living in other species. Mostly these wild viruses don't infect humans. But there is one virus, the H5N1 avian flu virus, that can infect humans, and it's a deadly strain. Does avian flu pose a risk? The H5N1 avian flu virus doesn't have the right genes to support easy human-to-human -human transmission. But the virus could pick up those genes, either by random mutation or by acquiring genes from other viruses present in infected humans. The more humans who are infected with the wild virus, the faster this can happen. Avian flu has been in the news a lot recently because it's developed into a huge pandemic in birds. And because it's crossed over to hundreds of humans in just the past several years. If avian flu picks up the genetic changes it needs to sustain human-to-human -human transmission, we could very well be in for a hard ride. It's happened before. The worst flu pandemic in recorded history occurred in 1918 and 1919. It was called the Spanish flu, though it did not originate in Spain. Records from 1918 and 1919 are sketchy. We know that at least 20 million people died during the Spanish flu pandemic. Most authorities believe the number was higher. Some estimates run as high as 100 million people dead, about 5% of the world population. The disease actually struck hardest among younger people. Does avian flu pose a risk like that? Since 2003, the H5N1 virus has killed an estimated 100 million birds worldwide, and several new strains have appeared. It has also infected several hundred humans. Scientists fear that the H5N1 strains could acquire the genes for human-to-human -human transmission and cause a new pandemic. Early indications are troubling. The H5N1 virus infects people who are in close contact with infected birds, usually poultry. Lethality in those human cases is well above 50% of those infected. Thus far the virus has not yet mutated to spread from person to person, but experts say it could happen. If the virus solves the problem of human-to-human -human infection, it will have more opportunities to produce viruses in human bodies and the rate of adaptation will increase. We could see a pandemic like the one in 1918. 
or worse. Dr. Larry Brilliant, a prominent epidemiologist at the World Health Organization, predicts that if the virus achieves transmissibility between humans, it's going to precipitate a global economic crisis. Commercial air flight may be suspended. People will be increasingly afraid to go to work or to shop in public places. Global shipments of food and products will be reduced. Services will be curtailed or halted. Hospitals and doctor's offices and grocery stores may be feared as death traps. Companies without deep pockets could go bankrupt. Just-in-time inventories will no longer be adequate to sustain production or to make sure food is available. Goods formerly available only from overseas producers will dry up. People will lose their jobs. You can expect a deep recession, possibly a global depression. Recovery could take years. The loss to the world economy could be measured in the trillions of dollars. If the virus perfects its adaptation to humans, the spread of the disease to every civilized community in the world could take about three weeks. In the worst case scenario, we can expect at least a billion people to become sick, and a great many of them may die. What is the chance that the worst case scenario will happen? Flu virologists polled by Dr. Brilliant estimate that there is a 15% chance of an H5N1 flu pandemic occurring within the next few years. So we may dodge the bullet on bird flu, but it's not something you should take for granted. 15% is not zero risk. Furthermore, virologists also predict that between now and your grandchildren's lifetimes, the chance of a worldwide flu pandemic just as severe is about 90%. Whether the H5N1 virus produces a pandemic or not, a pandemic is probably coming. It's my guess that from the start of a pandemic until we are all vaccinated against the virus, society will be gripped by fear and disruption. So it's very important to have a grasp of how quickly effective vaccines can be developed and produced, because we will not be out of danger until most of humanity has been vaccinated. I'll talk about vaccine development in part two of this series. Thank you for watching.